Hey, what's up? It's Joey for Digital DJ Tips. Right now, taking a look at the Novation circuit. It's a standalone groove box that combines a drum machine, synthesizer, and sequencer all into one compact and portable unit. It's designed to be intuitive and simple to use, letting you come up with your own dance music productions really quickly. So in this video, we're gonna do two things. First off, I'm gonna give you a features talk through of the Novation circuit, and then I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it, on whether or not it's a good bit of kit for DJ producers who wanna come up with their own dance music tracks. Let's get stuck in. The Novation circuit is a standalone unit with a 32-pad grid in the middle, surrounded by mode and function buttons, eight rotary knobs at the top plus a filter knob, and a master volume knob. Round the back, you've got two quarter-inch master outputs, eighth-inch MIDI in and out jacks for hooking up other MIDI gear, a USB port, power jack, and an on and off switch. In front is an eighth inch headphone jack, and at the bottom you've got a built-in speaker, and on the right is a battery compartment if you want to produce on the go. The speaker is tiny and isn't very loud. I preferred working with headphones, but I guess in a quiet space it's usable. Just don't expect any serious bass here. Okay, let's take a look at the grid in the middle. The grid is used for various functions, including performing and sequencing notes for each of the six tracks. There are two synth tracks with side chains for that pumping sound, and then four drum tracks, kick, snare, hi-hats, and cymbals. When you choose an instrument track, you enter note mode. The grid changes color and format to show what you're controlling. Pressing any of the drum buttons splits the grid. Pressing either drum 1 or drum 2 will give you a 16-step sequencer for both tracks, letting you draw in your kicks and snares. The same goes for pressing drum 3 or drum 4. This time you can add hi-hats and cymbals. Pressing either of the synth track buttons splits the grid. The upper half becomes a two-octave keyboard with only the notes of a chosen scale. You can choose which scale you want by pressing the scales button, and the lower half becomes your step sequencer, letting you draw in notes. You can also just hit the record button here on the right if you want to play along instead of sequencing notes using the step sequencer. I love the sounds that ship with the circuit. They're nice lead, pad, and bass sounds, plus a variety of drum sounds for making different styles of electronic music. You can literally take it out of the box, plug it in, mess around with it, and come up with something that sounds decent a few minutes after. You can change sounds by holding shift and pressing any of the tracks. There are 64 synth sounds and 64 drum sounds. The grid represents one bar or one measure of your production. And if you want to lengthen it or choose a different measure, you just hit the patterns button on the right of the unit. This lets you select up to 8 bars of your production for a more complex tune. And you can pick from any of the measures just by pressing the pad associated with the track's pattern you want to modify. Circuit also comes with an onboard mixer that can be accessed by pressing the mixer button. This turns the grid into mute on and off switches per track, while the knobs at the top function as volume knobs. The circuit also comes with reverb and delay effects, which can be assigned to any of the 6 tracks. You can choose which preset you want by pressing the effects button and choosing from the grid. The top are delay presets and the bottom are reverb presets. The encoders can then be used to send the track to the effect and their LEDs brighten or dim according to the intensity. You can record these effect changes in real time as well by pressing the record button and moving the knobs. The changes you make get saved as something called automation and is played back every time the pattern repeats. The circuit comes with its own dedicated filter knob. Every DJ mixer and controller these days seems to have one, so why not on a groove box? The circuit's filter knob is chunky and works just like it would on a DJ mixer. Turn to the right for high pass, turn to the left for low pass. Great for live performances. After all, who doesn't like filters, right? Circuit also comes with modes for editing notes that you've drawn or sequenced. Velocity lets you change the loudness or softness of a pad press or drawn note, and gate lets you change its length. Nudge lets you move notes in a track's pattern left or right by one step, and length lets you shorten a pattern from the default of 16 steps. Lastly, the circuit has other function buttons here at the top. Octave up and down, tempo for changing the BPM, a swing button, clear and duplicate to erase and copy notes or patterns, and a save button for saving your production to a slot, which can then be selected later on by pressing the session button. 
It sits pretty at my homework desk, but one of the coolest things about the circuit is that it's truly portable. Stick in some batteries, get in a case like this UDG clamshell bag, and you're ready to work wherever you are. I throw in a pair of earbuds because I find the onboard speaker lacking in both volume and quality, and well, that's about my only gripe with this. All right, so what are my thoughts on the circuit? Well, first off, it's really easy to use. The controls are laid out very thoughtfully. You don't have to go through a ton of shift layers just to get to the essential controls, and everything's just laid out in front of you. So that's always a big plus when working with hardware because it can get pretty confusing and frustrating, especially if you're working with more esoteric gear. Not so with a circuit. This is really easy to use straight out the box. Now, another thing that I like about it is that the sounds that ship with it are really really good. There are 64 sounds per instrument and again there are six instrument tracks here and it lets you come up with a variety of dance music. You can make house, you can make hip-hop, you can make trap. Um, all the sounds that come with it are pretty usable and I really like that about the circuit. The one thing that I didn't like about it was the onboard speaker. It comes with this small a uh, tinny speaker that doesn't really have a lot of bass and it's not very very loud. Um, I, I found myself like turning up the master volume all the way up and that was just me working in my bedroom which you know it's already a pretty quiet place. I did try to take this out to a coffee shop. I know right it's like the worst place to make music but I took this out to a coffee shop Try, I tried making a track and aside from being very annoying to the people sit, sitting beside me, it just really wasn't loud enough. I would have liked to have seen rechargeable batteries here instead of a battery compartment where you can slot in six AA batteries. It feels like the 90s, um, you know, you had like a portable console like a Game Gear or a Game Boy, you know, you put batteries in. Uh, I, ju I just think like a, a rechargeable solution would have been a lot better. I know it would have been would have made this more expensive, but it would have been cool to have that. Uh, and speaking of expensive, the circuit really is not expensive at all, especially uh, for all the things that you're able to do with it. It comes at just under 350 bucks. For me, that's a great value if it lets you be creative and make music without getting frustrated. In all, I would recommend the Novation Circuit for DJ producers who want to try making their own tracks on a piece of hardware like this, or if you want to step away from your laptop for a while. Again, it's easy to use, it sounds great, and most importantly, it's really, really fun. So that's it for my talk through of the Novation Circuit. You can check out my full review over at the Digital DJ Tips website. The link is in the description box below. Please hit the thumbs up icon if you like this video and hit that subscriber button if you are not a subscriber yet. My name is Joey. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.